there are some people who used to entertain the king. Oh, okay, when he sleeps, they go out? Yes, they go out. And they just remain with the wife? Yes. Was... Yes, this king used to be tall. It's not a lie. You will yeah. see. King, our kings used to be very tall. No, I can even prove it no, right now. No, it's because you guys are tall. tall. Yeah. This is Nyanza Convention. Yeah. <laughs> this is Nyanza Convention Center. In... Yes. And then I do what you don't see. No, yes. You don't see like... Okay. And then I pour where? This one? The bigger one. This one? So you remove the... the... Oh, I remove the thing? Yes. I yes, you take it with your two hands and drink. Like drinking. Going out. Going to China. Oh, she, she enjoy like that, that privilege. That man. I will keep enjoying the money till the last <laughs> Yeah, oh. You see the, the kind of guys that you guys want to marry? Then they were singing some songs, like a motivational songs. Hey you guys, how you all doing? It is your girl out here in Rwanda because you guys had to visit Rwanda. Anyway, so we are at the King's Palace today. We're going to be doing um, a tour of this place and then they're going to be um, telling us more about what was happening here and all that. I'm just looking forward to the cows. Like they have these funny, funny cows with funny, funny horns. And yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited. It's so hot out here. It's like... Mm, I have to ask and I can't wait to like test the food here. I've been wanting shima Man, like I've been wanting shima, you know Zambians and shima So I've been wanting shima and um, I'm gonna introduce you to Neto, the, the tour guide here in Rwanda. He's been amazing. He's been our boss We've been doing stuff. He actually recommended we do this so, if you are from Zambia, you pay 9000 A long time ago, you were supposed to pay like $12. That's like 1,200 francs. But now they reduced the amount to $9. It's, that's like 9,000 francs as well. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And I can't wait to go see what's in stock. So, let's go. In this team, it was used to make many materials which were useful at home, like chairs, clothes, milk crates, and also others. This is Artina. But later, Rwandans they thought this tree is Africa because it's located the famous hunter called Yangombe Wabazenga. He was a hunter, but he was also a mediator to Rwandans and their gods. So one day he was hunting, the buffalo took the tree up, then the branches of this tree completely the tree. Oh. So from that time, they thought this tree is Africa. So let me ask you something. You just even read them. Is it true that this kind of the clothes that were made in Africa were well, for those people, people who doesn't have money? Oh. So we are actually at the King's Palace. So the King's Palace, a wonderfully made thatched building structured like a beehive, is a replica of the original royal palace. Nyanza was once the beating heart of Rwanda. It was the location of conflicts and power struggles, according to oral tradition. So the lady in green and black is Justice. She was our tour guide here at the king's palace. For a long time, the monarchy was nomadic, with the court shifting from one side to another. When all finally calmed down, Nyanza was the obvious peak. The kingdom's capital had up to 2,000 residents and cottages built using the same method as seen here. A few long-horned Inyambo cattle descended from the king's head, reside in the back, 
where they are caretakers meticulously manage and sing to them, preserving a unique tradition. The King's Palace Museum is a replica of the traditional royal home. Nyanza is a magnificent building thatched home in a style of a beehive. Nyanza was once the beating heart of Rwanda. It was the location of conflicts and power and struggles according to the oral tradition. Rwanda was no longer a monarchy when it ended independence from colonial domination in 1962. However, Inyambo breeding and grooming are still managed by the Rwanda Agricultural Board. The neighboring ethnographic museum in Huye holds one of Africa's best ethnographic collections <laughs> and complements of the King's Palace. So there are words that I'm actually going to pronounce, maybe a wrong way or maybe not the way they pronounce them. I must say you guys should forgive me because um, these words are so, so hard to pronounce. So right now we are in the king's house. This is a fireplace. You know, during the evening, yeah. there are some people who used to entertain the king. Oh. Okay, when he sleeps, they go out? Yes, they go out to sleep. And they just remain with the wife? Yes. Because I was worried. <laughs> and they make babies. Yeah, because I was worried how were babies being made because this barricade <laughs> is not enough with people. But again, another tr another truth is this king used to be tall. It's not a lie. You will yeah. see, king our kings used to be very like, tall. No, I can even prove it no, now, right now. No, it's because you guys are, are tall. tall. Yeah. The last king was two point something meters. The hell! Yes. <laughs> the tallest person in Zimbabwe. The there we have four rings. We have what's called the meaning. Okay. So the first ring from inside it means heaven. Heaven. Yeah. The second ring it means in the space. The third ring on the earth. What, what, Where what second time? is those four rings in middle? What, oh. what does it mean? I was out too. Oh, gum trees, gum trees. Yeah, it's not so funny. These are gum trees. Yeah. This is Nyanza Convention Center. Yeah. <laughs> this is Nyanza Convention Center. In the night, it lights up. Like Kigali, okay, so guys, guys, like it's Kigali Convention Center, go which I'm gonna show you in the next yeah. video. But and next, we were taken to this hut. This hut is where uh, a virgin girl used to sleep and uh, make um, the milk for the king. Like she was the only person allowed in here because she was supposed to be clean. Even when entering here, we have to take off our shoes because it's uh, respecting the tradition, of course. And yeah, so I'm going to try making uh, milk. They say like once they, they make, the, they get the milk, they, were, they used to shake it the way Isimbi is shaking. Isimbi is my friend from Rwanda. You have to follow her at Isimbi Model on Instagram. So you shake it like that, and then the milk is going to be on top. It's going to make like sour, and then down, it's going to have butter. So I don't know. They said um, the virgin girl used to do this for like, tw like two hours maybe for the butter to come out. So she's sitting. So it's like this. No, okay. she's sitting like the way I'm sitting, yeah, right? Like that, oh, is it, okay. Ah, it's like that is because we are we are in the shot. Okay. And then I pour where? I pour where? Just like, I choose one. Pot you gotta choose one. one. This one. This big one. one. This one. So you remove the. the... Oh, I remove the. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you going to, to pour a milk once they still like? <laughs> okay. And then I pour where? I pour where? Just like, I can choose one pot. You're gonna big choose one. one. This one? The bigger one. This one? So you remove the, the Oh, I remove the <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You bring and I show you. Let's go. Okay. Can I pour now? No. Can I pour? Yes. I remove? Uh-huh. Everything? Yes. Okay. And then oh. I 
puede llegar a Vancouver. Now you drink. Now you can take that yes and then drink. Yes, it's more of impressive. I just drink. Yes, you take it with your two hands and drink. Like drinking you. taken to the last hut where a virgin boy used to sleep so this boy used to make uh, alcohol for the king either banana alcohol or millet or sorghum alcohol so the boy used to grind the millet and then also brew the alcohol and save the king and also the visitors when they come so this is how they used to do it So that's yeah. But you do it fast. How can you do like long ago we didn't have like in my tribe we call it we call it urufyo. Then ingasi. You use like that one. Yes. Yes. Shima is like ugari, like cow akau. Then they were singing some song, like a motivational song. Tom, what are you doing? So cows are an integral part of Rwandan culture, so much so that for many, it is impossible to imagine a Rwanda without cows. Anyway, I was super scared about these cows. Like, I really wanted to stay, like, outside, but I was actually forced to come here by Nexo, my tour guy. Like, the guy is so amazing. So just watch. You just come. Okay, okay. Okay, just come. Okay, see? Okay, okay. So you're ready here. You can do this. You can do this. I know you can do that, huh? Okay, ju just touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Uh huh. Yes, so you got this. You got this. It's okay. I'm about to cry. No, no, it's okay. Like, take this. Take this. Okay. And then, you know, touch. Like, do like this. Okay. In many ways, Cows were a form of currency. They were given as dowry for brides, something that is still done today. They, of course, provided dairy products. And in modern times, many Rwandans owe their schooling from their parents' sale of cows for school and higher education fees. But more than that, cows were the social glue to to the social glue that linked families, neighbors, and turned total strangers into long life friends. In Rwandan culture, cows are not quite human, but they are certainly not seen as mere beasts. When children were orphaned, for instance, their relatives looked after them, but it was said to be the cows left by their parents, which would bring them up with milk. Cows were rarely say, ever slaughtered for meat. Okay. All right. You've done it. 
can come, just start walking. Why did I even come here? So now we are going to the modern palace. We're not allowed to fume inside this place. So you guys won't see anything from here. Yeah. So the king actually lived here and died here. Okay, so Rika, you want to say something? Yes. This is a modern I don't even know what I have to say, but... <laughs> ah, guys, no. <laughs> anyway, so we were at the old palace. That's our old palace. Yes. Now we are going to the modern one. And this is where... Oh, the king lived here, right? Yes, like, like he moved from this one going to this one. Yeah. So you'll be going to get some history about this place. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. how's your experience with Inyambo? <laughs> I'm actually ashamed. I don't know. Like, it was, it was amazing, but scary and so emotional. Like, I've never, like, come across a kettle like that before. And, oh. like, right now, I feel like my heart is in my hands. And I am sweating. I was shivering. Man, anyway, let's go here. What's this side? Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls collide. Hold tight. Guys, so that was it from here. I had an amazing experience, scary though, but I enjoyed everything. So, um, I think this will be it for today. I'm gonna see you guys like in my next vlog. Now we are going to look for food, we find something to eat, and then I'm gonna vlog again. Yeah, so that's all for Nyanza Cultural Trails. I loved it, and if you're new on my channel, please turn on bell notification share this video with your friends and give this video a thumbs up i'm gonna see you in my next vlog bye that's nice if i manage i don't need to sit and enjoy just even let me show you how 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 folded it is. Like I don't know how they even do it for it to be like this. So this is a stream I'm gonna be having. They're just taking a bit. Yeah, it looks so amazing. I don't know. Like I feel like it doesn't have any taste. It doesn't have any taste. Eh? It, it doesn't. It's that supposed that, to have taste. The shima. So you are saying that it doesn't have taste. No, it the doesn't. Shima the, 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 shima. the shima. Like the shima is supposed to have taste. 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 Like, do you guys boil or you just put water and then just water. cook it? <laughs> no, A man do. can't eat this alone. Mm -hmm. This small thing. Mm -hmm. They need maybe three or two or three of these. Of this. So this. Uh, this this one. This is small. <laughs> Me, if I finish this one, call me but Mr. Fallon. Yeah, 